hear from your past is a gift okay in the next few videos I wanted to target bullying because I have a friend at the moment and her teenage son has just started high school and he is struggling with being bullied okay from the moment he gets on the bus to get to school and then in the classroom all through the day okay there's always someone there that's bullying him so I wanted to dedicate these videos to that person okay and it goes out to all of you out there all you teenage kids or even kids at school the next few videos are going to be specially made just for you that you can get your head around what a bully is how the bully works and how it all comes together how it all starts in the first place why do some people get bullied and others not why are others not bullied at all despite the fact that they've got every trait you know like uh, there's a few videos way back when that I created where I was talking about me as a child at school you know and I should have been bullied because I was the geek that wore the glasses and in those days that was not a cool thing not only that but I was I think the only one wearing glasses at school by the time I was in year five you know in grade five of primary school so there were a lot of things you know where I should have been picked on for being different you know for being the nerd when being a nerd was not the cool thing at the time you know later because there were so many nerds <laughs> it was no longer an issue to be the nerd you know but you know sometimes you have to think there are other kids that are dorkier than you there are other kids with more things you know than more problems than you that they should be picked on for that and yet they seem to go through life unnoticed you know nobody touches them and there's a reason for that okay so in this first video okay that I want to address this bullying okay and I'm, I'm talking to all of you out there that are being bullied okay I want you to understand that the bullying the very first bully starts in here the first ball is in here it's in your head it's inside of you before you've even gone out into the world the bully already exists in here you don't need someone else to come in and make it obvious to you which that's that's their job that's all these people outside of you are pointing this out to you that you don't know who you are you know in this first video I want you to embrace that the bully starts in here it's in your head already before you've even gone out into the world that bully's already been created here we're going to look at how why how it all comes together okay now okay so first step accept that the bully's already started in here before it was ever ever out there it was already in here in here inside of you that bully was already created by you inside of you Okay, and in the next videos we're going to go in depth as to how that was done or why it was done what is this need okay in this video I want you to think about okay the bully was in here first before it was out there before it had a face or a name out there okay of someone picking on you or people there might be various people that are picking on you and especially if this is a pattern in your life if you've already been carrying it it's not just now started now but you've been carrying it you've always had someone picking on you you've always had someone you know, bullying you if you want to use that word okay um, first accept that the bully was created in here first okay just, just think about it okay it may not make sense to you right now as a teenager you know or even younger okay just think about it because I'm going to explain it further in the next few videos and it will all come together and it will all start to make sense what I want you to think of first okay apart from the fact that this bully was already created up here before it ever manifested out there when you look at a lion okay no matter how big the lion is or no matter how scrawny that lion is the lion the animal that lives in the wild 
A lion, when it looks at you, it knows it's a lion. It doesn't have to be the biggest lion in the pack. Even the smallest lion will look at you with this fierceness in its eyes, this strength that it knows who it is. It knows what it is. A lion will never look at you afraid. He will look you straight in the eye. will never look at you afraid like, I must be a lamb or I must be something else. No, a lion knows what it is. And it will always look at you. And you know when you look at that lion, that lion knows exactly what it is. And the reason I bring that up is because you're not a lamb either. And you are far, far more than a lion could ever be. But you need to know that for yourself. You need to know that you are more than that. And then you need to start to look at the world with those eyes. With more confidence than a lion. Because as human beings, okay, I'll, I'll go into it more in the next video because I don't want to make them too long. Each one, if you just sit with it, for a minute let it sink in try and accept you know just just sit with it even if you're rejecting the idea that the bully's in my head what is she saying she's making this up no no just just sit with it okay watch the videos that come and see how it all comes together all right my darlings but think of the lion and think of how a lion looks at you how it makes you feel when you look at a lion right in the face does that lion ever show any fear? Think about it. It has nothing to fear except for us, except for human beings. But even then, a lion will still look at you like, I'm a lion and I don't need to be anything else. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the videos. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye for now.